before the revolution. We decided to, we had a meeting and we decided to change the title, uh, launching a new series before, <laughs> because um, in fact we're too much into, uh, into uh, the prologue, the, <clears throat> the introduction to the main action, which is in fact so little to, <laughs> to boast of. That uh, we need, um, we need um, four, four, five um, a series in <laughs> before the revolution, part, uh, which should have um, its own um, uh, sub chapters. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe sex and the commies, love in the time of communism, too. Paraphrase love in the love in the time of cholera of Gabriel Garcia Marquez, of course, uh, author of uh, this, which is um, among the um, <clears throat> one hundred books ever, uh, best greatest books ever written, compiled by the Norwegian Book Club. When they asked um, luminaries like uh, Salman Rushdie. Um, the man, the great thinker who was an author who was uh, studied who was in, in America. So, the late, we give it to Berto Eco, John Irving, Nadine Gordon, and many others. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, up to 50 uh, the best writers of the day. And they produced this list which has Don Quixote. As the Russians, of course, uh, Chekhov, short stories, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, uh, <clears throat> Gogol, Dead Souls, um, uh, Balzac, not <laughs> being the name of the Blue and Gold, Makov, and so many others. Um, and Garcia, Garcia Marquez is with them, <clears throat> Love in the Time of Cholera. I personally prefer. Um, Hundred years of solitude, and wasn't so thrilled by love in the time of Korea or the uh, the autumn of the patriot. But still, and, and there are some short stories I love. They had some lots of. Um, yeah. So we'll see about the naming some of those stories. We'll see how it how it goes, but. In the previous episode, we, we were still on the story with uh, Claire, started in the student's hospital. Uh, we were looking for a place to <laughs> consume <laughs> the infatuation. We cannot call it love. I, uh, <clears throat> I have been um, um, influenced, challenged. By reading a short story of Thomas Mann in the teenage years, in which he speaks of, um, <clears throat> of um, the fact that often people complain, saying, oh, I love you so much, there are no words to, to express that. Um, and in fact, it's the reverse, if you will, is true. We, we find in that short story. Uh, there are words like love, friend, which have no correspondence in real life, because in real life, uh, when it's, love is tested, um, it proves illusory, it proves um, it was just an attraction, just uh, some, some affinity, maybe something. And friends, my best friend, um, who will show up in, in some of these stories, or many, you know, uh, we, we've done so many great things together, funny most of them. Um, and then, um, in, what, 19, he just disappeared, what, he's in Argentina. Um, he's been in Argentina for more than two decades. Uh, 
strong citizen of that country, I guess. Um, <coughs> but that happens with them, you need to just go with the picture. Not really done in terms of love anticipating. I was infatuated with uh, Miss Romanian. <laughs> to the point that I was making stories for her. She, she would have to, and she did eventually, uh, go to Las Vegas for the universe. 91, 1991. Um, making up so that the story would begin from the presentation of this warm, you know, cold winter near the Soviet border. <laughs> Remember that, but once she 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 went to Las Vegas, when she came back, she she met Jack Nicholson, celebrity, glamorous, handsome, famous, rich, powerful people. Then she was not sorry, but and then for some reason in Asia, she was still preparing for the exam from theatre. <clears throat> university. Um, um, she would prepare and I would stay along, but then we traveled to Belgium. I traveled to Belgium with my sister and uh, Yonitz, who is now my brother in law, married to my sister, and I would call friends from Belgium to see what. She does Miss Romania, and um, she was doing well. She she wouldn't. She it was separation was complete. I wanted to marry, and she just wanted, and she would <laughs> success story like in this is one of those um, happy ending stories. She would marry uh, another better fellow. No, not really. It's being like this now. Uh, Forever after, they were happy forever after with a real prince. A, 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 a prince in financial terms. The guy had money, which made her mother happy, I guess, because uh, she was very much uh, against me. And she was furious uh, when she found out uh, that something is going on. Uh, it's true, we. Played. I think she did, and I, I, I was stupid to go along. Um, we played a false, a false uh, narrative um, in which um, this was uh, what, in terms of today, would be uh, uh, a story in which no gender. Gender fluidity, which is the theme of this day, <clears throat> wherein, as we find out, from girl, woman, mother, Maria Varin, Bernardin, Frankstein, the baptizing her, she would tell her parents, no, this, this, is, this is just a friend. She would say, if, if those were different times, which I am gay. <coughs> Harmless, no. She wouldn't confess that way. So to say, the boyfriend. And when she found out the truth, she, she exploded. She was furious then. Now, now, now sometime later, uh, when they find this uh, guy with a lot of money, it won't. He was, she was okay with it. Let's go ahead, marry. Only the fellow was an embezzler and ended up in jail uh, because um, after the communism uh, ended, uh, another type of corrupt society would be established, and like in Russia, you know, oligarchs. Uh, um, Abramovich is accused and others of just taking uh, riches and becoming billionaires for no good reason, other than knowing somebody who just gave him the gift, yeah, take these factories or mines. And in some cases, it was foul play, like here. 